What do you want to become when you get older? President. American dream is dead. For we once were, we are no longer a Christian nation. Just watching the news and seeing the media, social media, everything was just blowing up with negativity and the things that were going on in our country. There is absolutely no evidence to support the statement that we're the greatest country in the world. We're seventh in literacy, 27th in math. Painkiller death more than tripled in the past decade. 49th in life expectancy. A seven-year-old man was shot to death yesterday is early that morning. It's the national death. You know, this issue has reached a boiling point. The worst period, generation period ever. Hey, it's Milan Jones, and I'm going to turn your frown upside down. So, let's go to 50 states and hit up 50 landmarks in this episode. We face a lot of negativity in our world. We face a lot of things that try to pull us down into this nihilistic mode of thinking, to rejecting everything that is hopeful and good in the world. But you know what? There is hope because no matter how bad the circumstance may look, we have something that's deeper inside of us that has overcome this world. And if you don't know what that is, I'm going to reveal that to you. But until then, we are about to go to another place in this episode of Become Relived. Yes. In our last episode, we were in the beautiful Minneapolis, Minnesota. Now we're headed on to Des Moines, Iowa. Are you ready? Well, you better get ready. Let's go. I'm supposed to be sleeping in my car, but I'm not. So, funny story. This morning I got up from my bed. I was going to get dressed because I'm going to Terrace Hill, the national landmark. I started going through my car and I realized I did not have my garment bag. The last place that I had, or that I could think of, was at Poche Hotel. Pretty much William was there and he told me that he had got all my stuff out of the back of the desk. So anyway, come today, I look for my garment bag and it's not there. So I lost some ties, some jackets, some other stuff. And then, <clears throat> trying to come down with a cold, so when I try to go, <laughs> my higher range is out. Yeah. So the storms have hit me. But you know what? I don't care. I'm out here. I'm doing what I really love to do. I'm visiting places. I'm traveling. This is what I, I can only dream up and imagine. I'm free and I'm so much happier. Besides that, I have the greatest person with me. That would be the presence of God. And no matter what you go through, no matter what I'm going through, I know for a fact that I'm going to be all right. Um, I was reading about David today, how he had lost some supplies and stuff. And they was thinking about stoning him. And my, my trials are just like small you know so losing a garment bag ain't nothing well hello iowa here in iowa i'm an hour and 30 40 minutes away from my landmark when i booked the hotel i thought that it was close to landmark but it wasn't hey, you can leave i'm losing my voice my gps had the wrong information in it. So frustrating. I drove like almost an hour and a half. And I'm not gonna get the tour. Oh yeah. So cool thing is I still got the tour of Terrace Hill. Can't put any cameras in that place so I'm gonna tell you a little facts about Iowa. Number one. Here's a little fun fact. The small town of Brit in this state hosts the annual national hobo convention. <laughs> This state was once part of French Louisiana. Today, its flag looks similar to the flag of France. Its capital is Desmond. Population, over 3 million. Land area, 55,858 square miles. Entered into the Union December 28, 1846. It is the 29th state. Nickname, the Hawkeye State. Model, 
Motto, our liberties we prize and our rights we will maintain. So that's the end of this episode. We traveled from Minnesota to Iowa. I was sick, lost my garment bag, and didn't know where I was going because I put the wrong information in my GPS. Everything's good because you know what? It doesn't matter what you go through or how bad the storms hit. When you know that God will be with you, that's the only thing that matters. I am a little bit tired right now because I've been working on some editing for the Imani at Malele children. It's choir and uh, one principle that they had with them was that they were thankful they always said thank you and they know what it is to be grateful you know even if you didn't have a lot a lot of those youth that were in the choir they had lost their parents but even when you don't have a lot it still had that joy you can still smile through their trials um, when you know that God will be with you he promises to be with us he promises never to leave us nor forsake us it's just that we need to be with him and stay in his word each and every day so until next time invoke the mighty warrior <laughs>